everyone, my name is Kareen and today I want to show you a hoop trick that is a variation on the shoulder duck out. So first let's just see what this move looks like. So this trick is one that I originally saw on one of Sapphire's hoop tutorials and what I found was that it really helped me with the timing of ducking my head out of the hoop and then ducking back into the hoop which can be a really frustrating uh, sticking point in this trick. Um, but today I'd like to break this trick down into three simple steps that's really going to help you figure out when you want to duck your head out of the hoop and when to duck back in. And before we start, there are a couple of hoop skills that you should be familiar with. One is that you should be really good and feel really comfortable spinning on the spot to keep your hoop aloft. So by this I mean any of the tricks like a um, Or like a trick like this one. that you should feel really comfortable with is hooping on your shoulders. So once you have those two skills mastered, then you should be ready to attempt this trick. And so in the first step, what we're going to be doing is just starting off hooping on our shoulders. If you're hooping to the left, then you're going to take out your left arm and put it above your head. And if you're hooping to the right, then you're going to take out your right arm. And what you want to do is you want to develop a really strong, steady rhythm of the hoop moving around you and to be aware of that rhythm. And as I take one arm out of the hoop, uh, what I find is that the opposite shoulder is what's doing a lot of the pushing. And that is where I start counting. And if the movement of this shoulder is on the beat, then you want to duck your head out on the half beat. So what I mean is that it looks like this. I'm going to take my left arm out because I'm hooping to the left and start counting when I hit the hoop with my opposite shoulder. So I'm going to hit the hoop now, 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 now. And on the half beats, I'm going to duck out. So now, 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 duck. And so for me, um, what was really difficult was figuring out when to duck back in. But what you'll find is that as you duck out of the hoop, the hoop is off to this side. And you're just going to pause for half a moment, half a second, until you feel the hoop clear your head. And then the hoop is going to be in front of you and then to the side and then in behind, and you have that entire time in which to duck back up and get ready for the second step. So step two is the part where you get to be effortless and carefree and spin and spin and spin to your heart's content. And so uh, what's gonna happen is when you pop your head back up, and your arm is up, you are going to come up and put your hands in prayer position and your hoop is going to be trapped between the arm that was originally up and your head. And so just like in all of those other tricks where you're spinning on the spot to keep your hoop in the horizontal plane, once you pop back up you're just going to spin and spin and spin. So again from the top, one arm comes up, now Your goal in step three is just to pop your head back up into the hoop so that you can continue shoulder hooping. From step two, your hoop was off to the side and because you were spinning, this locked the hoop in a position relative to your body. 
And to get the hoop spinning again, all you have to do is stop your feet and the momentum of the hoop is going to continue to carry it around so that you can duck back in. And so all you're going to do is you're going to plant your feet for a quick second and duck back down into the original duck position that you were in in step one and then you're going to pop back up. And it's just one quick fluid motion. You're going to come from prayer position, stop your feet, duck, and then come back up. And so from the top, this is what it looks like. One arm comes up. You're going to duck. I hope that you all enjoyed learning that move. I think it's really fun and it looks really impressive. And if anything was unclear or you have a question for me, please feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you. Happy hooping!